Thank you for joining us today. Today we will be talking about the Alation Data Catalog and delivering data governance on the Delta Lake. My name is Raja Paramal and I work in our partners practice to make sure that we are delivering customer value using technology partners. We'll be splitting this discussion up into three main parts. First, we'll be talking about the Alation Data Catalog, what makes us unique and why we are key to driving a data culture. Then we will be talking about Alation's uh, approach to data governance. And finally, we will wrap up by talking about the unique capabilities of Alation and Databricks and what we can deliver to customers. If all goes right, I should be in the chat right now, uh, able to answer your questions live. So feel free to ask questions and I will do my best to answer them. Alation is founded on the principle of creating a data culture for our customers. Our customers are telling us that increasingly they need to make data-driven decisions. And it's not simple enough to have a, a data science team or a data analyst team. A data culture needs to be throughout the business in order to drive effective decision making that affects the bottom line. In these days, this driver is even more important. The pandemic is accelerating the need to make informed data-driven decisions. So Alation's mission to empower a curious and rational world is more crucial than ever today. To do this, we obviously are working to instill a data culture within our customers, and we believe the key to doing that is three key pillars. First is data search discovery. When our customers have a question they need to answer with data, we allow them to find the best place to answer that question. Second is data literacy. When our customers find that data that they need to answer the question, we provide them the tools to know how to use that data well. And finally, uh, a topic that we'll be talking at length in a few minutes is data governance. We provide the tools for organizations to give authority to their data without uh, hindering the business value to get from data as an asset. The explosion of data and the cha necessary changes in the workforce due to COVID and other factors are making it difficult for our customers to realize the uh, return on value from their data as an asset. And an evolving set of laws, whether it's state level like CCPA or regional like GDPR, uh, there are implications for how uh, our customers use that data and what they can do with that data. So we need to give tools to ensure that our customers are driving data, uh, value from their data. And to do that, we have created a data catalog that answers four key questions. How do you find information? Can that information be used? Should it be used? And how should it be used? And we answer these four questions with five key insights in our data catalog. First is we provide data intelligence. We provide intelligence on the data using our automated and intelligent algorithms. Uh, we ensure that uh, right out of the box, we will understand usage patterns and understand metadata to, to, to guide our, uh, to drive our customers to make uh, intelligent decisions. We provide a platform for our customers to build a community around data. Our customers can collaborate around uh, how to use data and how to trust data. We provide a accelerated onboarding experience through guided navigation. So when a customer comes to the catalog, regardless of how many data sets they have, they understand which is the right data set for them. We provide active data governance. We don't divorce governance from uh, or policies from the data. We put policies right with the data so customers know how to use the data. And finally, we do this across the enterprise. We provide broad, deep connectivity. It's uh, not just about connecting to a lot of data sources. Uh, it's about connecting to key data sources like Databricks very deeply so we understand how people are using the data and what they're doing with that data. There are many types of data catalogs out there and uh, Alation really focuses on building a data catalog as a platform. That means that we're not just focused on a defensive data governance strategy, which means that you're preventing people from getting access to the data, or we're not a add-on to a tool that focuses on driving adoption simply of that one tool, we are a platform that allows uh, the community of data users within an enterprise to both get access to the right data and make sure they understand when not to use that data. To build the platform, uh, we connect to a series of data sources, key to which is uh, Databricks uh, and, and your cloud data lake infrastructure, but also your on-prem data uh, bases so you can understand what is happening across your analytical environment. 
And with this information, we build a platform that provides a active metadata catalog with a behavioral analysis engine that tells you what your users are doing with your data across your platform. And once you satisfy that use case, you can layer on solutions like data search and discovery, data pri uh, privacy, cloud data migrations, and crucially data governance, which uh, we will now talk about. Data governance now is crucial more than ever because the rate of data that is being created is exploding due to a, a variety of factors. Uh, this is causing uh, folks to be worried about data breaches in their environment, and then it is causing concerns among the C-suite to make sure that they are responding to those changes. Traditional approaches to data governance, however, have been failing. Uh, these traditional approaches typically, again, focus on the defense, focus on uh, preventing people from getting access to data. Uh, they tend to be done in isolation and not with engagement of business stakeholders. And these approaches uh, are often created separate from the actual consumption of data. Altogether, this creates a solution that does not focus on people, does not focus on business, and will give uh, the people who need to use data incentives to get around these approaches instead of uh, actually delivering true, co true compliance. So with Delation, we take a different focus. Uh, we look at each of these pillars as core to delivering active data governance. Uh, the first of which is, it is about the people using the data. It's about guiding them to use the right data. It's about guiding them to make sure they're using data effectively. Supporting that is operationalized policy. We want the data policy that is determined by our customers to actually be in action, actually be in use and be measurable. We want this approach to be collaborative. Stewards and governance officers need to work with users. Users need to work with stewards. We want some level of automation, so this is not a manual effort throughout the catalog. And finally, we need to react to changes across the business as they grow. We'll talk more about the product uh, and the process, uh, the actual how this works in the mechanics in a few moments. But around the active data governance, this is our approach to our lightweight approach to understand uh, how to work with the business to make sure that we are getting started with an active data governance process. Now let's talk about Databricks. Our approach to active data governance incorporates a variety of personas across the business to ensure that we're driving adoption of our analytical investments in the Delta Lake. This approach to governance uh, ensures that users can use data easily because it's well curated and well governed and also can use the data safely knowing that they have policy concerns uh, already taken into account. Here are some of the few uh, capabilities that we take into consideration when we talk about uh, when we talk about governance that Alation helps scale and automate. Shifting gears, let's talk about how this applies specifically to Alation and Databricks. Working with our joint customers, uh, we just determined three key challenges about uh, using a machine learning platform like Databricks on the cloud that Alation can help with. First is moving to the cloud environment, ensuring that you're getting complex projects off the ground can require a lot of time, a lot of resources that uh, quick moving data-driven organizations just don't have. Second, once you are on to the uh, Databricks platform or when you're onto a, a, a modern machine learning stack, empowering your data scientists to find the right data sets can, uh, can be time consuming. And third, uh, Data scientists need to be able to collaborate with uh, experts that un really understand the data, so uh, they're not redoing analysis that's already been done. Alation helps with each one of these capabilities. Uh, first, Alation will identify the key data sets to move to a cloud environment. Uh, so instead of starting with a big bang project, which opens up for risk and opens up for uh, uh, issues with time, Alation will help our customers identify which data assets to move who are the user groups associated to that da those data assets and communicate to those data users within our data catalog to move those uh, data assets in a timely fashion. All the while, we take advantage of Databricks capability to manage uh, ETL and security and safely move that data to the cloud. Overall together, we ensure that we de-risk the move to the cloud by focusing on key assets and user groups, and we can uh, accelerate the time that it takes to, to do those processes. Alation's 
core search and uh, discovery capabilities allow data scientists to find the right sets of data to use for their analysis, regardless of where it exists across their enterprise analytical environment. Uh, this allows uh, the data scientists to take advantage and create data pipelines across their environment to make sure that data scientists, again, can run, uh, run efficient experiments using the right data, regardless of where it is. Finally, using the uh, uh, Alation data catalog, uh, data scientists and data analysts can get involved with, uh, get understand the context that has already happened within the data sources collaborate with other users of the data, whether they're on the data science team or not, so they can understand what analysis has already been done and what they can reuse. Uh, once that work is done, they can track these experiments, publish uh, models, and, and continue to use Databricks to perform their ex experiments, focusing on uh, the use cases that have core, uh, th that it has core value to, to the business. Uh, this collaboration allows Databricks and Alation customers to ensure that they are making better models and these business insights are shared across the environment. With the release of, or the announcement of Databricks SQL Analytics Service, uh, these core tenants uh, apply to more and more parts of the business. Uh, previously, Alation and Databricks worked together to empower data scientists to uh, find the best data for their data science experiments. But with Alation and SQL Analytics Service, now uh, data analysts can take advantage of the, of the uh, easy SQL endpoints that are spun up with SQL Analytics Service to query those same uh, data sets in Delta Lake through the Alation SQL Editor to ensure that our analysts can take advantage of the same capabilities that the data scientists can. Because Databricks makes it easy to sp uh, spin up SQL analytic endpoints, uh, Alation can use our uh, Databricks JDBC driver to ensure that we are using the best uh, data and using it in a very high performant way when we're connecting with uh, the SQL analytic server. Um, thanks to uh, the built-in concurrencies, uh, we don't have to worry about database management. We don't need someone to have a ton of knowledge in Spark to get started. Uh, with the Alation SQL Compose Editor, they can get started using this data set very quickly. This gives an idea to tie together all of the different pieces of what we've talked about up until this point. Uh, for a full demo, we can get into each and every piece of this, but uh, what I would like to highlight is that within Alation, we're going to tell you who are your top users in your Databricks environment. Who should you go ask when you have a question about this data and usage about this data? How popular are the data sets in those columns? Who are the stewards? Who, who's, who has the authority and the responsibility to maintain those data sets? Uh, if you would like to know more, uh, there's a lot to show, and I encourage you to reach out to me so I can uh, I can uh, talk to you. Thank you very much.